In the days before pulling the trigger on grabbing the infamous 10-string guitar, I found something curious pop up in my research. Another 10-string instrument designed exclusively for freehand tapping. It's called the Chapman Stick, or the Stick, created by Emmett Chapman in the 70s, with recent models culminating in around a 34-inch scale length with either 8, 10, or 12 strings, covering both a guitar and bass's range. With what they call an X-fret meant to mute the open strings, all you can do is tap. So over the years of pondering what getting my hands on one would be like, and having experimented with some tapping of my own when I had the 10-string, I decided on the next best thing, just emulate its mysterious interior 8-string classic tuning on my 8-string guitar. Throwing on a fret wrap to help with muting, it's pretty much just as good, right? Well, let's see how this thing feels and talk some theory. Or you can just skip to this timestamp if you want to hear me just play the thing. This is Kevin from Said Too Much. My 8-string only has a 27-inch scale length, so of course I'm not going to copy the lowest C1 bass string of the Chapman stick and just transpose everything to what would be its 5th fret, or F1 on the lowest string. Putting the fret wrap over the 1st fret gives me a potential starting note at a more reasonable G1. Ironically, losing that 1st fret costs us about an inch and a half, so really we're back to the standard 25 and a half inch scale again. Stringing it up was pretty easy with the Floyd Rose nut on there. I would have had to do some nut filing otherwise. You almost always see this instrument played completely vertical, with a special strap and belt hook to keep it that way, and it is more comfortable keeping everything closer to your body. Unfortunately, this huge guitar body does not feel comfortable being shoved between my legs, and I kind of find myself fiddling with it back and forth. Now the strings are separated into two groups of four, the bass side and what's referred to as the melody side. Their highest strings, being the two end strings, are both an E, but an octave apart. The biggest difference, however, is how they get to those notes from their lowest strings. The melody side is your familiar fourth intervals, like a regular guitar. But the bass side is tuned in fifths. Which means it technically has a bigger range by whopping three whole whole notes. Three whole whole notes. But as we've seen in the straight fifths tuning video on this channel, the real advantage is the triad shapes we see appear, putting the major or minor third from in between the root and fifth to past them, making it sound less muddy. As for the idea of inverting the direction of that interval, I can say it may not be as jarring as you think. I've actually experimented with inverted fifths tuning on yet another video on this channel. Between the two of those, I go over way more theory in great detail that I'll link down below, for the sake of not being too redundant. But I think maybe it's more important to approach this instrument in the mindset of a piano, using both hands to play riffs constructed in very similar ways to what we're doing here. You may not have even thought of playing bass triads before. In fact, you may not have even considered that you can easily tap triads with your right hand, too. Tapping isn't just exclusively for leads with quick hammer-ons and pull-offs. One thing I'll admit I overlooked, other than the thick body, is how low the tension is. I sometimes accidentally bend the note when I tap it too hard. Assuming I could have gotten away with more tension on the neck, I would have went for something more comparable to the stick which is like a bass tension over a guitar's.
So what do y'all think? Pretty rich voicings? Are you ready to ditch the pick along with finger picking? I don't know if what little difficulty I had with this stems from either me not being that familiar with tapping or it being a horrible idea to force this tuning on an extended range guitar. You know, I could actually turn this into another extreme mod, completely cutting off both wings and making it actually look like a stick. I don't know if I could really do that though. I'd have to find a way to pretty solidly fill in that tremolo cavity probably. Although I did more or less completely chop off one wing on my soprano guitar with the tremolo cavity intact. Stick Enterprises, the name of their larger company, actually makes a product called the Alto Stick, which is more comparable to what we were working with at a 26 and a half inch scaling for just a half inch difference. But perhaps you guys can think of a few better ideas to dissuade me from my sadistic impulse to run all my instruments through a table saw. I'm glad I ran into this thing, and short of having it in my hands coughing up the money for it, I think this is a good foray into if we like this kind of tuning or not. Also, let me know of any other cool stringed instruments to check out or try to emulate. For now though, enough said. For early video access, raw instrument tracks, and more exclusives, find our community on Patreon and consider adding your support. Said so much.